Uh, hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to introduce our study. The title is Evaluating Traffic Performance of Gen 6 Signal Priority Using Sumo Simulation, the Real World Case. And I'm the presenter, Jun Chen Liang, and my partner, Shen Zhu Wang, is also online. And we are the we are studying a master's degree in Department of Transportation and Communication Management Science in Chen Gong University. And Dr. Wei Shen Li is our professor, and Minder Wang is the Director General in Tainan City Bureau of Transportation. And he proved this project to be a success. And here is the, here is the outline of the slide. There have five parts in this presentation. And first is about the, the introduction of the case. And this study is about the transit signal priority, which is also called TSP in Tainan City, Taiwan. Implemented in Tainan City bus rules number 70 and passing through eight bus stops, including 21 signalized intersections and nine electric buses. And all intersections are installed with roadside unit, which is also called RSU, and buses are equipped with onboard units, OPU. And uh, about the hardware equipment, the RSU is used to communicate with the vehicle and send the control order to the traffic controller. And the OBU is used to provide the bus data and GPS position to RSU. And both the hardware in roadside and the bus include an industrial computer and a DSRC module for communication. And here comes to the system framework. And we have three parts in our system. RSU is for signal control. And OBU send GPS by 4G or DSRC. And the cloud is the TSP strategy center. And in TSP control strategy, we design a two-stage control framework. The first stage is to adjust signal setting of the, of the intersection in the intersection group to form a green wave that favors arrival of buses, which is called intersection group control. And the second stage is to adjust signal settings of the intersection located in front of the bus according to bus real-time position every second, which is also called isolated intersection control. So the first stage uh, intersection group is defined as the intersection between two consecutive bus stops. And the goal of intersection group control is to form a green web that favors bus trajectory. And in stage one to estimate the bus arrival at each, uh, to estimate the bus arrival time at each intersection, we could calculate the red phase waiting time uh, at the previous intersection. Uh, also, queue clearing time and stop upload time are considered, which can be estimated by arrival rates and the saturation flow rate. The arrival rates and saturation flow rates we use is from historical data we collect from the real world tra traffic survey. And in this part, Webster uniform delay model is used. And then comes to stage two, isolated intersection control. And in this, in this stage, we calculate the bus arrival time as a normal distribution, and then compute the passing probability at the intersection to decide how to adjust the signal. And if the passing probability is larger than the threshold, the TSP strategy would be computed and performed to the signal controller. And moreover, to improve the, the efficiency of the, of the computation, a large-scale matrix containing pre-computed content is used in stage two. The RSU will implement the control strategy from the matrix according to the index, including distance between bus and intersection and the current phase and the signal remaining time of the signal. So after the control strategy, here comes to introduce the simulation framework. 
the main program in this case is added in Python and testing in Sumo. And Tracy is used to communicate between Sumo and Python program. And there has several functions which are defined to get the real-time data and compute the arrival time with queue clearing time, stop out loss time, and the red phase waiting time. And to get phase adjustment amount in large scale metrics and set traffic signal setting via Tracy. And in the program, uh, in the programming architecture design, the TSP strategy serve one intersection group at a time. So each intersection group is, uh, is an independent simulation and its performance has been calculated. So fo following the group definition in stage one, uh, 21 intersections in this case are separated in several intersection groups. And in the simulation, the TSP strategy would do as following steps. First, we will check the position of bus in every time step and check whether it arrived to the trigger points of the group. And then the bus uh, and then the TSP strategy will load the intersection list in the group and perform the group control to every intersections. And finally, it will perform the isolated intersection control in the group in sequence until the bus leaves the group. And to make the simulation more realistic, we observe the traffic flow operation in Tainan City. The following parameters are calibrated, including allow the vehicle passing yellow phase, adjust the minimum gap between two vehicles, while they are stopping the intersection and set the mass speed assembly as the speed limit. Okay, and because the TSP control strategy is based on fixed time signal plan, so after implementing signal priority, the signal coordination among intersection will not exist. So we have a phase time compensation in two cycles after the signal priority has implemented. And there has two examples about compensation after green phase extend and red phase truncate, truncate. In the case of green phase extend, because the target phase of the bus was ex extended and the cycle time was also extended. So it would cause the start time of the Later cycle doesn't match the original setting in the traffic controller and also make the signal co coordination among intersections not exist. So we could, we would keep the adjust timing of green phase extend and get a negative compensation in the last two cycle. So on the other hand, in the case of red, tr red phase tr truncate, we will have a positive Face time compensation in the, in the later two cycles. Okay, there is an example for a group with four intersection, and the the arterial is Zhonghua Road, which is also the bus main route, and the simulation network is constructed by NetEdit, and we only consider bus and passenger car in this case. And the performance are output with trip info, which is provided by Sumo. And the performance is calculated from the output in trip info, and we collect the waiting time and the travel time to factor. And there has four scenario compared with the performance of original fixed time control and only isolate uh, only group control as long as stage one and only isolated control as long as stage two and the mixed two stage control. And also it, it got a basic improvement if there has only group control. Uh, because the, the group control only performed the control strategy one time while the bus arrived the group. So it can take 
it can make sure that bus can pass the intersection behind if the traffic flow is complex. And the mix two stage TSP strategy got the best performance absolutely. And only isolated control as long as stage two uh, also got a good performance because of the accurate control every second. And comparing the performance between different vehicle type, uh, the goal is of the goal of the signal priority is to reduce the delay of buses. Of course, the bus got the most in obvious improvement in the performance. And because the bus rules in this case is almost the same as the arterial, so the arterial car also got the benefits and had a little reduction in travel time and waiting time. And with phase time compensation we discussed in previous pages, uh, the signal will adjust the signal setting even after the bus passed the intersection. So the side street car uh, can uh, the side street car didn't subject to a greater impact and would have a little benefit in two cycles after the TSP control. Uh, okay, we finally summarized the performance data from seven groups, and each group gets different level of improvement due to their different environments. And finally, in total 21 intersections, we got 60% reduction in waiting counts and 16% reduction in travel time. And to verify the simulation results, the bus travel time from the real world traffic survey are used to assess whether the simulation can represent real world traffic operation. So based on mean absolutely percentage error, and we evaluate the tra travel time of the fixed time signal control and the TSP control and obtain an MAPE value for all 2.91% and 1.74%. Okay, finally, the conclusion is that the real world TSP case is demonstrated, and we propose a two stage TSP control strategy, which are performed by Cloud and RSU respectively. And these TSP control strategy are simulated in Sumo, and the results are evaluated. Uh, for the future work, follow the, follow the advancement of technology in real world system, the, the communication module DSRC we use can be replaced with CV2X in future. And our team's goal is to integrate various signal control strategies, such as emergency vehicle signal preemption and echo driving adversary and adaptive traffic signal control at least application in an RSU and to propose an all-in-one smart signal control system for a smart city. And thank you for your attention and any questions is welcome.